The need for entomologists in the Navy was recognized in 1941. War in the Pacific would be fought in locations rife with malaria and other diseases transmitted by insects known as vector-borne diseases. Combat casualties in the South Pacific were outnumbered five times by casualties caused by malaria. Medical specialist teams were developed to curb this loss of manpower. Entomologists, part of these medical specialist teams, made significant contributions in the fight against the devastation caused by malaria. By the end of World War II, there were over 200 Navy entomologists serving around the world. After World War II, the Malaria and Mosquito Control Unit eventually found a home at the Naval Air Station in Jacksonville, Florida. The unit has gone through several transformations, evolving into what is now the command known as NISI, the Navy Entomology Center of Excellence. Navy Entomology Center of Excellence, or NISI as we call it, is a unique command within the Department of Defense. We're the only center within the Army, Navy, Marines, or Air Force that's devoted solely to operational entomology. NISI is a field activity of the Navy and Marine Corps Public Health Center located in Portsmouth, Virginia. Um, the Navy and Marine Corps Public Health Center you can think of as kind of the CDC for the Navy and Marine Corps and NISI makes up the entomology component of that CDC or Navy and Marine Corps Public Health Center. One of the many needs for Navy entomologists is in the area of preventive medicine, supporting stateside and deployed Navy and Marine Corps personnel. Throughout the history of the U.S. Navy, sailors and Marines have been sent on missions around the globe, missions to environments where the dangers confronted may not only be from the enemy, but from vector-borne disease. Vector-borne diseases had a huge impact in World War II, specifically in the Pacific Theater, uh, where malaria and dengue were major um, problems. Um, certainly, uh, battles on Guadalcanal and Saipan, uh, troops were exposed to uh, mosquitoes that carried uh, uh, malaria and dengue. They were um, impacted by these diseases. The number of cases in the South Pacific uh, have been estimated to be up to 600,000 troops contracted malaria and over 100,000 contracted dengue. Some of these diseases did not necessarily kill those people and in terms of uh, they were no longer a fighting force. Vector-borne diseases remain with us today. During a deployment in 2003, malaria swept through a unit of U.S. Marines in Liberia and resulted in a 60% casualty rate. NISI is tasked with keeping sailors and Marines healthy enough to do their jobs by preventing vector-borne diseases. The mission of NISI is to serve as the center of expertise for operational entomology for the Navy and Marine Corps. The three important components of NISI's mission include providing operational entomology services to fleet and shore commands throughout the United States and the world, including deploying our personnel in support of operations. Um, we also have a very important training component where we provide training in pest control and pest management technology to our military and civilian pest management personnel. And the third important component is our testing and evaluation capabilities. We are the only command within the DOD that tests and evaluate pest management equipment prior to its approval by the DOD through the Armed Forces Pest Management Board. Tiny sandflies in Afghanistan and Iraq transmit leishmaniasis, a disease caused by parasites which can cause unsightly and debilitating skin lesions, prolonged illness, and even death. Numerous cases of the cutaneous form had to be evacuated to DOD treatment facilities in Germany and the United States for treatment. Having entomologists in war zones helps to provide control and containment, and often prevention and elimination of these problems. For most vector-borne diseases, the primary hotspot is Sub-Saharan Africa. They seem to have the hardest go with, with the worst diseases. Other regions of the world that are significantly impacted by vector-borne disease, uh, Southeast Asia is routinely the site of major dengue outbreaks. And then areas that previously didn't have as much of a problem with malaria, dengue, such as South America, are now emerging as, as major focal points of the disease. Navy entomology in particular has been on the forefront of every 
operation, both conflict and humanitarian assistance, to uh, lend our unique expertise to the situation. The Center of Entomology Training for the Navy is at NISI in Jacksonville. NISI provides training and certification programs for Navy entomologists and preventive medicine technicians and DOD civilians. These include studies in fields such as arthropod biology and specific areas of pest management. NISI is the training center for entomology for the United States Navy's uh, Bureau of Medicine and Surgery. And uh, we're responsible for about eight courses that include uh, pesticide applicator training as well as recertification in, uh, in the technical trade of pesticide application and also some public health classes that are uh, geared around the control of insects and other animals that are associated with human disease. The training provides comprehensive instruction in select areas of entomology, biology, and the use and application of pesticides. The goal of this training is to provide Department of Defense pesticide applicator certification in several categories to ensure that Navy personnel are trained to apply pesticides safely and according to existing regulations. NISI also offers a specialized course, Operational Entomology Training, that takes place at NISI as well as in the field. This operational training serves to emulate real-life scenarios in diverse habitats and to prepare deployed preventive medicine personnel to conduct vector surveillance and control under operational situations. Part of the mission of NISI is to develop new pest management technologies including testing and evaluating pesticide application equipment, supplies, and application techniques. Special considerations for military use such as durability, size, weight, and operational noise levels all become part of the equation. Another important component of NISI's mission involves the Deployed Warfighter Protection Program, DWFP as we call it. DWFP is a multi-million dollar program to essentially develop new pest management technology, pesticides, um, equipment, materials to help protect our deployed warfighters. NISI collaborates with various agencies, both government, civilian universities, mosquito control districts throughout the, throughout the country to conduct large projects to evaluate new pest management technology. Testing of pest management equipment is performed with laser and other technologies to evaluate ideal droplet weights and dimensions. Wind tunnels are used to test pesticide dispersion in diverse wind conditions or from aerial delivery platforms. NISI works closely with world-class scientists at university and government research centers. For example, NISI is closely partnered with the USDA Agricultural Research Services Center for Medical, Agricultural, and Veterinary Entomology, or CMAVE, located in Gainesville, Florida. I am a member of the Navy Entomology Center of Excellence, or NISI as we call it, and they taught me everything that we do in the Navy, applied entomology. Things are branching out into the field of genetics, because mosquitoes, we've found, like other insects, become resistant to pesticides quite quickly. Their genetics favors them, and it keeps favoring them over these quick generation times, and they become more and more resistant to the pesticides that we have. So the work that I've done here at CMAVE, I've actually looked at the genetics of resistant mosquitoes and compared it to the genetics of uh, pesticide susceptible mosquitoes and then we can see the differences in their genes use their genetics to design genetic pesticides so that the pesticides will target those resistant genes and then stop them from being produced in resistant mosquitoes so that then they are susceptible to the pesticides that we have. My name is Ulrich Bernier. I'm a research chemist at the USDA ARS Center for Medical, Agricultural, and Veterinary Entomology. My graduate work focused on using mass spectrometry to understand the human skin chemistry such that we could figure out the differences between people and why some people are more attracted to mosquitoes than others. Some of the work that I conduct here involves attractants and repellents and a lot of the stuff that we do for the United States military involves the uniforms that they use and the repellent treatment that's applied to these uniforms. In August of 2003, 
in Monrovia, Liberia, there were 150 Marines sent in to protect an air base. 80 of those ended up with malaria. Because of that situation, it cost the American government $1.5 million to treat them, whereas it would have cost only about $11,000 to treat all those Marine uniforms with permethrin. Training entomologists and preventive medicine technicians for real-life field work. Field work that covers everything from shipboard pest control to vector and pest control on bases and in combat zones. Navy Entomology has another mission, a mission to assist in diplomacy to generate international goodwill. Entomologists and preventive medicine technicians have worked on humanitarian missions around the world on numerous Navy vessels, such as those undertaken aboard the USNS Comfort, USNS Mercy, and USS Kearsarge. Entomologists are needed within the United States Navy to prevent vector-borne diseases. We have entomologists with operating forces both in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, on the ground with Marines, with the Army units, and what they do is survey for any potential disease-carrying insects, control those insects, and other creatures that may affect our, the health of our force. NISI has also sent personnel um, as part of humanitarian assistant missions throughout the world. For example, we recently had two entomologists return from Continuing Promise, which was a mission in the Caribbean and South America. Our entomologists become part of the public health team for the mission, which goes ashore and works directly with the host country's public health personnel. With any preventive medicine program, it's hard sometimes to see the direct impact because if we do our job well, maybe no one knows that we've done it. Navy entomology's role in Navy medicine is simple, preventive medicine. We keep people from getting sick and you can't do your job if you're sick and therefore the mission can't be completed. It's not the most high profile or glamorous job in the U.S. Navy, but it's important because when we're doing our job, people aren't getting sick.